Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, Esaú. Ready for Hi, the Jerry. class? It's a pleasure. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Eduardo. How are you? Hi. It's a pleasure to see you again, right? Okay. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hi. Oh, no. Beatriz, sorry, Beatriz. We, we, we say that. <laughs> Jennifer, <Why? laughs> to be, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. And then we have George, right? George here. Jorge. And Andres too, right? That's nice. Okay, class. So we are going to begin with the class. And today I want to start with the with the manual. There are some activities in the manual I want to show you. Okay. Here. Ta -da, ta -da. Let me share with you, right? And Oops, I have a lot of windows here, here. Okay. Here we are, right? So, um, this is the man. Hey, hello. Hello, Victor. Welcome, welcome. Uh, sorry, Victor, you had a, a meeting today or oh, yesterday? Ahora era su reunión, Víctor, o, 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 o ayer. I don't remember. No. You say, right? No, no me había dicho que tenía una reunión. No. Okay, forget, forget, forget. <laughs> Excuse me, I am, I'm an, I am lost in mine. <laughs> Good. So remember, these are the four units, right? Unit one, work-related events. Number two, ongoing activities at the workplace. Number three, scheduled events at the workplace. And number four, tech support, techno technological. Okay, good. And today we are going to review the use of the unit one, right? And here we have some exercise. Look. Activity you regularly do on Monday, right? Number one, check my email. Number two, type a letter. Number three, write a report. Number four, attend a meeting. That means, in this case, assistir, attend a meeting. Number five, call clients. Number six, read a report. Number seven, visit clients. And number eight, organize meeting, right? Okay, class. Now, using this information, we are going to answer this. I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Look. So in this case, I will eliminate this part. Look. Number five, right? Call clients. Elimination, right? Now, number two, or secretary, the secretary, right? There are many options here. Type a letter. Or secretary types a letter. Okay. Nice. Or secretary types a letter. So eliminate this. Okay. Number one, I twice a day, two times, two times a day, I use my laptop computer. So in this case, write a report. I, I write a email. report. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Well, I check my email twice a day. Oh, I write a report. Mm. I write a report. I check my email. Okay. Honestly, uh, we can change. We can say, right? Uh, but it's more acceptable, I suppose, it's more acceptable to say, I check my email, right? But remember, you can use many options. Uh, for example, in, in number one, or secretary types a letter, 
you can also say, or secretary writes a report, hmm? or secretary checks her email, for example. So uh, there are many options, right? Don't worry. Check the email, but we are going to eliminate this activity. Yes. Good. Next one, it says, oh, give me a second. I have two messages in the chat. Uh, okay, Eduardo, no problem. I received your message, Eduardo. Thank you. Now, let's continue. I have to every Monday. What? I have to write a report. I have to attend a meeting. I have to read a report. I have to visit clients. I have to organize. Sorry? Have a meeting. Okay, very good. Attend. Excellent. I attend. I have to attend. Oopsie. Attend a meeting, right? Every Monday, right? I have to attend a meeting. Good. Every Monday at 8 o'clock. So eliminate this. Uh, what is it? Attend, attend meeting. Tanan, tanan. Okay, good. Now, Celia. Organize meetings. Organize meetings. Mm, okay. Oh, sorry. Ah, excuse me. Okay, good. Organize meetings. Now, here. Or Organize meetings, right? Okay, notice that this is in simple present, right? But because it's third person singular, we're going to say organizes. Huh? Remember? So Celia organizes or secretary types. But then when I say I, I don't say I types. No, I type. You don't say I calls. No, 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 no. I say I call, right? And finally, your idea, right? What do you do? What do you do, class? Every week. Can you give me one example? I check my email. I, I visit clients. I... I make receipts, you know, recibos. I make reports. So what, what is the, the appropriate uh, idea here? What do you do in your job? What do you do in a bank? What do you do in Unicomer? What do you do in Banco Atlantida? What do you do in Televisores Argueta, right? <laughs> What do you do in Galvaniza? Uh -huh. Tell me, please. In Sorry? Visit. In I visit. Okay, I will, I will copy here. Yes. I visit uh -huh. clients. Clients. Okay. Every day, every morning, once a week, twice a week. Every day, no. That's in toda la semana. Okay, so all week. Nice, right? Okay. Very good. Any question? Now let's continue, right? This was class number one on Wednesday. Now let's continue with, I have another message here. Uh, oyente. Let me see. Henry, right? Giovanni. Giovanni's. Oyente. Give me a second. Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Oh, okay. Giovanni, when I say Giovanni, you say present, right? Oh, you can copy in the chat. Present. Okay? Good. Let's continue. Let's continue, right? Then we were learning about this conversation. She type or she types. We made this right in class, I remember. Yesterday. 
She types. She types. Right? Type. Good. Type. Because an extra S types. Good. Does she arrive or do she? Yes. That's right. Does she arrive or does she arrives? Arrive. 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 Good. Good. Because remember I say, according to the rule, when you use the auxiliary does, it's not necessary to add the S to it, right? Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Now, here we have some examples. Look. Simple present, he checks, he goes, he likes. Dominique checks. Dominique goes, Dominique likes. It checks, it goes, it likes. So we add an extra S, right? But then we say, they check, my co-workers, look, this is plural, right? Co-workers go, the employees, plural, right? check, go, and like, right? So, when you say simple present third person singular, he, she, it, or singular nouns, you add an S to the verb, right? You add an S. Oh, remember the rule? When the verb ends in O, we add an ES, right? Good. But then, with the other I, you, we, they, my friends, my co-workers, the employees, my students, okay? You don't have S because it's plural, right? Good. Now, how to make questions. Does he check reports? Does she check reports? So, here in this context, we're going to use does. Right? And when we use the other forms, we use do. Is there a difference? Hay una diferencia entre ambos? No, it's the same. Right? Es lo mismo, solo que diferente en tercera persona. Okay? Okay. Good. So remember, does is only for he, she, and it. Only, right? Aha, uh -huh, and I have an exercise here. Look. From Monday to Friday, Dominique call. Sorry? Wake. Wake, wake up. Wake up. Yeah, we'll copy. I will copy. Wake up, right? Dominique, wake up. Mm -hmm. Dominique is a woman, right? And then uh at five o'clock, like the teacher, and <laughs> five o'clock in the morning, right? So she, she, she was, what? Two, two, one. She, she, no eso. Sorry? Wake, no eso. Wake, oh, so yes, you're right. Excellent. Es que me equivoqué con intención para ver si se fijaba. <laughs> okay. Good, thank you. Wakes up, right? Yeah. Cuando las excusas se inventaron, ya nadie se equivoca. <laughs> Wakes up, very good. Wakes up, nice. Thank you. Because Dominique is third person singular, yes. Yeah, because I was watching Wake Up here. Now she, <laughs> she calls, she has, she checks, she works, or she goes to work. Oh. She goes. She goes. Excellent. Also, goes to work. And when she gets there, she? She, she checks. She checks her email, right? Check. Mm -hmm. Check. She checks her email. And? And all the clients. Oh. Calls. 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 Calls, right? Calls. Calls. Again, don't forget that you have to use the S. Calls. 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 
Cole. Good. All the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia. What? Work. 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 Work or works? Works. Works, works no, with work, S. Work. Wait a minute. Is singular or plural? Lisa and Claudia. Plural. Plural. Yeah. So you say work on it, right? No works. They, what? They have or they, they go to work? Go. They, they go. They go to have lunch. To yeah. have lunch. So it's the go and have, right? Let me do this. They go to have to have lunch together. I imagine you do that. All the people in a bank, right? Go together to have lunch. <laughs> okay, good. And Dominique oh. at 4 p.m. Oh. goes. There she goes. There she goes again. Okay. Dominique goes home, right? Now, listen. From Monday to Friday, Dominique wakes up at 5 a.m. And she goes to work. She goes to work. Uh, and she gets there. And, and when she gets there, sorry. When she gets there, uh, she checks her email, and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominique. They go to have lunch together. Together At 4 p.m., Dominique goes home. Right? Any question, class? What time is it? Okay. Ooh, it's very late, so we'll take the attendance. Ready to answer? Eh, Carlos Josué Portillo. Okay, I I hope Carlos Jose can report one of these days, right? Eh, Cindy. Present. Cristina. Present. Joshua. Present. Hey, welcome, Joshua. Now, eh, Esaú. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Osvaldo? No Edwin Osvaldo, right? Okay. Good. Uh, Elizabeth? Hello, Elizabeth? No. Okay. Jill? Thank you. Giovanni ya se presentó, solo que va a estar de oyente. And Beatriz, please. Yes, Thank you. Jennifer? Uh, Jorge? Jorge Alberto? Present, Fisher. Thank you. Enrique? Enrique? No, Enrique, today. Oh. Eduardo? Thank you. Ah, eh, Enrique. Ok. Enrique en Eduardo. Ok, thank you. Eh, Alejandro. Alejandro, with us today? No. Ok. Manuel Eduardo. I'm here, teacher. Ah, welcome, Manuel. Welcome to the class. Okay, you couldn't attend the class on Wednesday and yesterday, right, Manuel? It's a pleasure. My name is Javier Gomez. I am the teacher. Okay, Manuel, where do you work, Manuel? Where do you work? Um, bank a bank. A bank, okay. So you... A lot yes, of <laughs> classmates here, right? Together. Thank you, Manuel. And welcome. Welcome to the class. Uh, just give me a second here. Uh, Manuel, it's okay for you? Because I already have Eduardo. Juan, 
Eduardo, right? So we'll call you Manuel. Oh, Eduardo is here. I know, I know, but because... Manuel, yes. Uh -huh, because Manuel is Manuel Eduardo, so I will call Manuel, Manuel, <laughs> no Eduardo, understand? Okay, and Eduardo, Eduardo. <laughs> okay. okay, continue. Eh, Mario? Mario? Present. Okay, thank you, Mario. Eh, Andres? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oscar? Thank you. Victor? Victor. Thank you, Victor. Victor. Wilfredo Antonio? Okay, no, right? Okay, thank you. And finally, Carlos Enrique, right? Present teacher. Okie dokie. Nice. Any question? Jennifer? Ah, okay. No problem, Jennifer. Jennifer Guadalupe, right? Sí. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very good. So, uh, the only missing are the next. Alejandro, Edwin Osvaldo, Elizabeth del Carmen, Carlos Josué, and Wilfredo Anton. Only, right? Okay. And then the rest are here. Good. And Jennifer, don't worry about when you go out, right? No, no, no se preocupe cuando la saque el el programa, porque ayer a mí también me sacaron <risa> patitas para afuera, ok y fíjese Jennifer que cuando regresé al grupo, ja, había algunos alumnos hablando, el teacher ahí, ahí le voy a comentar <risa> ahí le voy a comentar <risa> ok, son bromas ok, now esa es falsedad, teacher ok, no lo sé Rick <risa> No, los compañeros, yo estoy de testigo, todos los compañeros están a mí, bien. A, a, mí, a mí que se me hace que Andrés... Estoy esperando el que ustedes desconectar. A mí que se me hace que Andrés es el rebelde. <laughs> Thank you, Andrés. No, es, es broma, Andrés, es broma. Ok, now let's continue. Ah, I have a message eh, present. Ajá. Giovanni, ya le tomó la asistencia, Giovanni. Thank you. Hoy no va a participar Giovanni, solo va a estar de oyente. Ok, good. And we already practiced this. Time expression we use for regular activities every day, every week, every month, every year, right? Daily, weekly, and monthly. For example, you have lunch daily. You do the laundry, lavar la ropa, right? Weekly. En el caso de Andrés, cada seis meses. Ah, no, no, toda la semana, ¿verdad, Andrés? Yes. So weekly. Siempre, yes. Siempre, okay, very good. And you go to the beach, for example, you go to the beach monthly, every month, right? So when you use daily routines or events that are frequently, we can use this expression every day, every week, month, year, every month, every year, daily, weekly, and monthly, right? Okay. And the class of today. Esta sí es la clase de ahora. Yes. Ok, entonces lo vamos a dejar acá. And let's go to the presentation, right? Let me see the presentation for tonight. 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 Ok. Here, right? Can you see the screen, class? Yes. yes, okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to class number three. Is how to use many, how many, sorry, and how to use how much. How many with countable nouns and how much is for no countable noun, right? Okay, today is Friday. Friday and your body yeah. knows it. Ooh, ooh, after the class, right? Go dancing. Uh, and body. Uh, and body. Uh, and the, ba body. the body knows it. The body, el cuerpo the, lo body. Sabe. <laughs> the body knows it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Now, class number three, right? The objective for tonight. Let me see. Cindy, can you read the objective for the class, please? 
Okay. Who needs one? Work, relax, events. I will be able, able? to. Able? Able? Able to request a specific, a specific personal finance information. Excellent. Thank you very much, Cindy. Elisa, request, request, finance, 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 right? Okay. Now, request is when you ask, cuando usted pide algo, right? When you ask specific, something specific, right? If you say, I want to request some pupusas, <laughs> no, 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 with food, no. Requests are, for example, a uh, uh, some information, for example, or some a favor, right? Or a report, a document, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Request. Pedir. Solicitar, right? Good. Now, here we have this question. How often do you have vacation? Ooh, ooh. El Tunco Beach. How often do you go, do you have vacation uh, at your job? How often? With what frequency? Every month? Every oh. three months? Uh huh, Carlos Enrique? Uh, every year. Every year. Normally, you take the decision when or the company tells you, okay, Carlos Enrique, you're going to have vacation on yeah. December, in January, no. Who takes the decision? Yeah. Carlos Enrique, you yeah. or the company? You or the company? I, I take decision. Ah, okay. For example, this year, what, what are your plans, Carlos Enrique? When are you having vacation? Uh, go to the beach. Uh, go to visit uh, USA. But when, when, this year, in February, no, in February, I mean, uh, in, in, in June, July, December, when? What are your plans? In July. July, okay, nice. So you're going to visit United States. And Carlos Enrique, do you practice your English when you go to United States? Yeah. Ah, nice. Excelentoso. Congratulations, Carlos Enrique. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, Cindy's family is laughing. Look, Cindy's, fam Cindy's princesses <laughs> are laughing because of, of Dino, right? Okay, thank you. Now, anybody else? Beatriz, what about you? How often do you take or do you have your vacation? In your company. Once a year, too. Once a year, too. And is it the same like Carlos Enrique that you take the decision, Beatriz? So, so. <laughs> oh, so, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or your family takes the decision, right? Mm, no. No, no, okay. The company. The company. The company. And, and, and... and you, 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 you agree. You agree, right? There is an accord. Hay un acuerdo. There is an accord. Okay. Nice. If I agree, I say. They just say, eh, Beatriz, you have vacation on January. No, no, January, no, in December, please. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. Eduardo, como oyente. Ah, it's raining. Eduardo Flores. It's raining in the house of Eduardo. Give me a second, Eduardo. Cuando deje de llover, me, me, yo me yo. dice. Ah, ok. Al fin yo vi a San Juan Talpa. San Juan, ah, yes. <risa> Todo el agua que no llovió estos días, ahorita le está cayendo. <risa> Estaba okay. muy, muy caliente, muy caliente. Yes, ok. Eduardo ahí nos avisa cuando deje de llover. <risa> ok. Good. Good, I understand, Eduardo. Don't, don't worry. You try to participate or you try to listen, ¿ok? Uh, vamos a ver, creo que le voy a dar un poquito de volumen para que contrarrestar. Permítame un segundito, vamos a darle volumen a esto. 
Ah, no, estamos al tope, entonces, lo siento, ¿no? hasta ahí llegamos. Hasta ahí llega la, la pita. Ok, let's continue, right? No, habíamos quedado aquí, this question here, right? Ok, how often do you have your vacation, right? Now, here we have a conversation. Ruth says, hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yeah, pay vacations because sometimes you take vacation, but they they don't pay, right? In this case, yes, paid vacation. And Josh said, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Remember the translation for how about you is Yvonne, okay, <laughs> good. And then Ruth says, me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days. Oh, nice, 20 days. 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four. Oh, four bonuses. <laughs> Good. What about you? And how much do you receive? Mm, how much? Uh, I just, I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Oh, I want to work there, $600. <laughs> a lot of money, right, for Josh. And two is $1,200. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Good. Now, that is the, the conversation, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Vacations? Job? Paid? Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Ba, 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 about, about. How about you? How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? Twenty days to be exact. How many bonuses bonuses do you have per year? Ruth? Bonuses. Per year, per year. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how many do you receive? No, sorry. How many? No. How much? Also, no. also, also, number number two, right? <laughs> how much? How much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Each bonus is for more than. Six hundred, six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. That's it, right? Okay, class. Now we're going to practice the conversation. I will need, a, let me say, I will start with Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique and Victor, please. Carlos Enrique, you are Ruth. And uh, Victor, you are Josh. Ready? Okay. One, two, hey, Josh. Three. Action. Action. <laughs> hey, Josh. I have a question for you. 
do you have paid vacation at your job? <clears throat> yes, I do. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? Do you have per year, year root? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six, six, uh, under, under, six hundred, six hundred. Thank you. Okay, thank you, right? Thank you, uh, Carlos Enrique. And also thank you to Victor. Now, um, here we have the, the hundred, right? Look. Is six hundred dollars, six hundred. Okay, no hundreds, but hundred, right? Okay, very good. Now let me see. Okay, here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Oscar. Oscar is going to be Ruth, and Andres is going to be Josh. Ready? Oscar okay. versus. Andres, one, two, three, action. Okay. Uh, Oscar Daniel is going to be Ruth. And okay. Oscar Andres is going to be Josh. Ready? Cling. Okay. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have time to vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have had vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days, to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but as bonus is for more than 600. Okie dokie, nice, right? Very nice. Only for that, you will have a prize. Clap for Doodly, right? So, <laughs> okay, very good. Dooley said you are very good. <laughs> the Oscars, the Oscars, right? Oscar Daniel and Oscar Andres. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go to the last one. Mario, can you help me, please? Uh, Mario, you're going to be Ruth and Manuel. Manuel, and welcome to the class, Manuel. This is the dynamic. Manuel, you're going to be Josh. Ready? One, two, three, action. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Uh, me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your in your vacations? Twenty days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have each year through? Mm, I have four four bonus. What what about you? And how much do you receive? That's true. That is bonus for more than dollars. Six hundred, right? Six hundred dollars. A lot of pistol, right? A lot of pistol. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mario. Thank you very much, Manuel. Right? And again, do the list here, right? This is for deaf people, right? 
cuando hay sordos así aplauden, ¿no? Ok, very good. That's it, right? Thank you very much. Now we, we have some questions, class. Ok, how many or how much do they pay? What do you think? How much? How much? Very good. How much? So when you receive, when you uh, talk, sorry, about uh, money, uh, right, you say how much? Then, how many or how much days do you have in your vacation? How many? How many, right? Because the days are countable, right? And they are things are plural, right? They are plural, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Good. Notice this is the use, right? Use how many with plural countable noun. Plural, no singular. Mm -mm. Singular noun. For example, you can say, how many onion? How many onion? <laughs> no. How many onions? It's plural, right? And then you say, how many onions are there? 10 or 12? How many apples are there in the refrigerator? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe two. So can you cut the onions? <laughs> you know, cut <laughs> the onions, right? Can you say one, two, three, four, five your onions? Yes or no? Yes or yes? Repeat, please. Can you count the Repeat. onions? Can you say one onion, two onions, three onions, four onions? Can you say that? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Excellent. And yes. So in this case, onions are plural, countable. Remember this. Plural, contable, right? Now, how much? We use how much with uncountable nouns? Maybe in English is, mm, let's say, no countable, but in Spanish you say, ah, oh, it's countable. But remember, we are in an English class, so we are, uh, let's say, uh, saying some things that are different, right? For example, how much bread does she want? Maybe in the morning when you buy uh, the, the, the francés, right? You say, deme cinco franceses, <laughs> maybe, right? Or maybe, uh, I don't know, you are having breakfast, right? And you say, uh, I don't know, maybe esa is five franceses, right? <laughs> no, no, right, no. Only two, right, esa in the morning. Okay. Fifty quarter. Sorry. Fifty quarter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Ah, uh, but in English is no countable. Bread in general is no countable. Why? Why in English is no countable? Because they they are a mass. You know, es una masa. Okay, es un todo. Good. So in this case, how much bread? How much milk? How much milk, right? So in this case, milk is no countable. Mm -mm. In English, you cannot say una leche, dos leches, tres leches, well, tres leches es un pastel, but, eh, cuatro leches, no, no, right? Mm -hmm. It's not possible. So how many milk? How many milk? Eh, no, how much milk, right? Okay. Very good. Uh, now I have a question for Jill. Le tengo un, un jueguito mental a Jill. Ready, Jill? Okay, please. I will, I will ask you, and then you answer me. Right? Uh, ¿De qué color son la mayoría de sábanas? ¿De qué color? Las sábanas. White. White. Okay. ¿De qué color el papel bon? But you can say in Spanish White. if you want. White, okay. Eh, ¿De qué color son las nubes? 
en el día? White. ¿Qué toman las leches? ¿Qué toman las, leches? ¿Qué toman las vacas, eh, Jill? ¿Qué toman las vacas, Jill? Agua. Agua. Ah. <ríe> Me trabé, por eso. <ríe> por eso cayó, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. No, no, ok. Vamos a ver a Andrés. Andrés le vamos a hacer una. Tal vez cae Andrés. ¿Ready, Andrés? Listen. ¿Ready? Ok. Hello, ready. Listen. Eh, ¿De qué color eran las mangas del chaleco rojo de Napoleón? ¿De qué color eran? Rojo. Rojas. No, los chalecos. No, no, no tenía, tenía mangas. Ajá. Chalecos no tienen mangas. Ah, ok. Very good. Let me no, see. no tenía. Ok. Now, tú es Saúl. Let, let me see, Saúl. Ahí sí, Saúl es very buso, por the question, right? Es Saúl. Tomando en cuenta yes. que iban en, en parejitas, Isaú, ¿cuántos animales logró meter Moisés al arca? ¿Cuántos eran? How many? How many animals? <laughs> How many? Mm, help me. That's so cool. 50. No fue Moisés. No. Bueno, eh. It was no <risa> It was not Moses. Y vamos pasando la Semana Santa. No yes. vieron las películas bíblicas. <risa> yes. Ok, thank you very much. Right. Sí, sí. Yo, yes? yo, le, yo le hubiera contestado, no, hombre, que Moisés era el ayudante. Pero Dios lo... <risa> ok. <risa> A mí me hace que. Pues no es... ver, una doctora, no era la ayudante. una doctora que fue rectora de la U, creo que era la ayudante ahí. <laughs> ok, now let's continue. Practice. Complete the question with how many and how much, right? Ok, let me see. Eh, participation. Mm, let's start with Cindy. Ok, Cindy. How many or how much peppers do we need? Papers are pimientos or chile, right? How much yes. or how many? Cindy? How much? Ah, Cindy. How many? Sorry. How many? Excuse me, es que le oí algo raro a la voz a Cindy. How many? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cindy, le escuché algo raro a la voz. Okay, how many or how much? <laughs> how much? How many? Otra vez le escucho rara. <laughs> How many? How many? Yo creo que la lluvia es, teacher. Cindy, la lluvia le está haciendo daño, Cindy. How, how many? Le escuché. <laughs> okay, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, let, next one, please. Next one. Number two. Uh, let me see. Christy, please. How many or how much? Potatoes, potato. How many? How many? How many? Very good, excellent. Also, let's continue. Number three, right? Salt. This is for Joshua. Joshua, how many or how much salt? Joshua, Joshua, 10, 4, 10, 4, 10, 4, Joshua, Joshua. Ok. Maybe it's busy, Joshua. Esaú, please. How many or how much salt? How many? How many? Mm. You know what is salt, right? In Spanish. Sal, sal, right? So, how, how many? Much? How much, right? Ahí tiene varios ayudantes. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> no me le soplen. Okay, very good. Thank you, Saúl. Now, eh, let me see, Jill. Next one, Jill. Just eh, teacher, ponelo, uh -huh. ponelo por ahí. Okay. Este, yes. Yo soy el que le escribí por WhatsApp que tenía permiso para ser oyente. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, yes. Y ya puede participar. Pero... Eh, si me Giovanni. permite unos minutos Yo, Giovanni, ¿verdad? Joshua, Joshua Yo, Ah, Joshua, pues yo me confundí Pensé que era Giovanni 
Vaya, entonces ahí me avisa, me avisa. Yo sé, perdón que le esté preguntando, pero me confundí. No, ok, ok, perfecto. Ok, Ahorita. muy bien. Y Giovanni, no, también Giovanni, ya me acordé. Entonces, Giovanni y Joshua. Vaya, ahí me avisan cuando pueden participar. Oigan. Aquí lo tengo ya, ok. Thank you very much. Entonces, seguimos con Jill. Eh, luego viene Beatriz, please. Beatriz. How much or how many? Beatriz. How much? How much? How much? Le oí la voz con eco a Beatriz, no sé por qué. Ok, very good. How much? Pero al menos no se lo oyó. How much, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. Thank you, Beatriz. Thank you very much. How much water do you need? Yes. How much water? It's correct. Oopsie. Let me see. Uh, here, right? Ok, number five. Oops, aquí no le dejamos el espacio, pero arriba vamos a escribir. So, eh, who's next? Eh, Jennifer, right? Jennifer Guadalupe. Ready? Jennifer? Ready. How much uh, or how many? How many? How many? How many? Ok, eh, are you sure, Jennifer? No, 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 no. No, right? No, no. How much? Very good. How much? Because milk is not countable, right? Milk is not countable. Thank you very much. And number six. Lemons. This is for Jorge, please. Jorge, how much or how many? Lemons, lemon, right? Jorge, are you there? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, Jorge. Hello, hello. No, okay. So, how many? Oh. Are you sure? Okay, let me see. We're going to ask Enrique. Enrique, how many or how much, Enrique? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, Enrique, Enrique. Reportarse a base, reportarse a base. No. Ok. Usa el comodín. Usa el comodín, va. Pero es que Enrique no contesta en el, en el micrófono. Quiero ver qué pasó. Uh, Quizás lo sacó el, el... Y aquí aparece un usuario de Zoom. Ah, pero solo es la foto, por eso dice usuario de Zoom, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿Alguien está usando dos dispositivos quizás? No. Bueno. Vamos a, a pedirle a otro compañerito, entonces. Eh, Eduardo. No, Eduardo. No, perdón, Eduardo está de oyente. Eh, Alejandro no está. Y Manuel, please, Manuel. Hoy vamos a tirarle todas las preguntas a Manuel por <ríe> Pero ya, ya escucho, ya escucho, ya, ya bajo un poquito yes. la lluvia, ya escucho. Ah, ok, many? Eduardo. Ok, how many? Estamos, how many? How many lemons, right? How many lemons are there in the fridge? Ok, very good. Now. Yes, of course. Nice. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you for all the participants. And now we're going to make another exercise. Let me see. Okay. Expression to ask about money. When you use uh, money, is no countable. I mean, the coins, moneda, right? The coins are countable. The bills are countable. Okay, but the money in general, the money in general is no countable. Understand? So in this case, we are going to use how much and not how many. We are going to use how much and not how many, right? So for example, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? Charge is cobrar, cobrar. How much do they charge? 
For example, uh, when you buy the cobija chapina, right? <laughs> every every month you receive the the cobrador, right? Le venimos a cobrar la colcha, you know. Good. So how much do they charge? And then how much is it? So can have a price. How much is it? How much do you earn? Ganas. Cuanto gana, right? How much do you earn every month? Right? Or how much do you earn? Uh, monthly. Class, I will tell you the difference between win and earn. What is the difference? I will copy here. Earn and win. And then you say, ganar, ganar, right? But the difference is that when you say earn, is that you work for that money. You work for that money, right? And when you say win, you go to lottery or at, uh, your mother give you the money or you were walking, right? So you were coming you were caminando and found a de pisto in the calle. <laughs> lo que siempre he soñado, yeah? Okay? Eh, yeah, o sea, se lo ganó, win. Yeah? Sin esfuerzo, no? Se lo ganó, win. But when you earn money, is that you, <laughs> look, trabajando en a, a, a bank, right? Trabajando en Atlantida, en Unicomer, en Galvaniza, right? <laughs> Working, right? So you earn. Understand? ¿Sí entendemos la diferencia entre earn and win? Okay, very good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much do they charge? Charge. How much is it? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn monthly? Monthly? Okay, good. Any question? Good, let's continue, right? Now we're going to make an exercise, right? We are going to copy these four questions in every question here, right? Good. Now, in this case, I will ask for volunteers. So, I will pedir voluntarios, right? Number one, please, volunteers, raise your hand. Solo los chicos que me levanten la mano. Oh, yes, Beatriz, please. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? It is $10.50. $10.50, right? Okay, Carlos Enrique. Me levantó la mano físico, no virtual, pero está bien, Carlos Enrique. The microphone, please, the microphone. Yes. Sorry. How much, how much do they pay? How much do they pay, right? This is the first question you do when you do have they, a, a they, new... Do, do they? they? Oh. Do they? Excuse me, do they? Hey. I make this only uh, to make you to see that if you are paying attention, right? <laughs> Me equivoqué con intención, pero ahora sí estaba prestando atención, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlos Enrique. Now, next one, number three. Volunteers, raise your hand, please. Quiero ver esa manita virtual. Vamos a ver. Manitas virtuales. Ajá, ok. Eh, Eduardo, please. ¿Ya, pa ¿Ya pasó la lluvia, Eduardo? Aún no. Ah, pero... Escucha pero mejor, escucha, mejor, se escucha mejor. Excelente. Sí, escucha. Now, please. Number three. Ministerio de Gobernación. How many? How many? Mm, 
Okay, let me see. We have how much is it? And how much do they pay? Do they pay, right? So you have only two options, Eduardo. How much? Um, ah, no, no, sorry, excuse me. No, perdón, aquí me equivoqué. Vamos a regresar aquí. Permítame. Okay, here. How much do they pay, right? ¿Cuánto pagan? Yes. Good. Uh, now, number three. How much do they charge? Or how much do you earn every month? What is the correct answer, Eduardo? How much do they charge? How much do they charge, right? ¿Cuánto cobran? Charge. How much? Yes, uh -huh. yeah, do, they, do they charge? Oh, yeah. How much do they charge? Okay, dokie. And... Sorry. How much do they charge, right? Okay. And then... Sure. Wait a minute. ¿Quién me levantó la mano? ¿Quién más? Ahí vi una manita, pero no vi el nombre. No, la levanté. Ah. Eh, el how much do they pay iría para la pregunta cuatro. Oh, really? There is a correction? Uh -huh. Ok. Good. So we're going to erase. Vamos a borrar entonces. Thank you very much. That is, that is Jill, right, Jill? ¿Usted es la que me dio el comentario, Jill? Sí, ok. So, how much do you Earn, right? Okay, that's it. Every month. That's okay. Every month. Mm -hmm. Good. And what is the answer for number four? Volunteer, please. Volunteers. Vamos a ver quién se atreve a subir la manita. Easy, come on. The only one, only answer, right? Uh huh. Okay. I will take it around. Lo vamos a tomar al, al azar aquí. Uh, and the winner is Beatriz. Ah, ya, Cristi, me levantó la mano entonces. Cristi. How much do they pay? How much do they pay, right? How much do they pay? Good, that's it, right? Now we're going to practice question and answer. Question and answer, please. Eh, Cristi and Esaú. Cristi, number one, letter A. Esaú, letter B. Ready? One, two, three, action. How much is it? It's a It is ten fifty dollars. Ten dollars, ten dollars. Or you can say 10 is 10. 10 point on 50. Centavos, no sé si 50, se... 50, 50. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. there are many ways. I will explain. You can say it's 10 dollars and 50 cents. Or it's 10 50. Or it's 10 and 50 cents, right? Many options, many options. The most common is okay. it's 10 50. It's 10 50. How much is it? It's 10.50. Okay, thank you very much, Saul and Christy. Now, uh, Jill, your letter A in number two. And Beatriz, your letter B in number two. Ready? One, two, three, action. How much do you earn every month? I make $545 monthly. That in El Salvador is not good, right? Because we need more money. <laughs> we need more money. <laughs> yeah, yes, we are not Kansas. Okay, like the gasoline is going, the prices are going up. So 
So we need more money, right? Good. Number three. Number three is going to be uh, Jennifer and Jorge. A and B. Jennifer A, Jorge B. Action. Number three, Jennifer, how much? How much does it take? Okay, good. Jorge? They? Creo que Jorge se ha desconectado, ¿verdad? Eh, Enrique? Okay, Manuel, please. Number three, Manuel. They? They take number three. They take Manuel. Okay, twenty three per item. Okay. Ah, yes. Manuel, in this case, when you when you talk about one product, you say item, one item is one product, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now, number four is going to be, let me see, Mario, letter A, and Andres, letter B. One, two, three, action. How much do they pay? Uh-huh. Andres, Andres, right? Hello, Letter, letter okay. B, number how, four. The company. Uh, how much? No, the how company. Much question do you... No, no, no. Mario made the question, right? Mario ya preguntó. Now you letter B. The company. Ah, okay. I'll just B. I B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is one O. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, wait. The company pays. No, ah, uh -huh. it's your salary. Oye, me fui hasta arriba. El salario, le digo. Usted me dijo que le contestara. No, no, Mario say, okay. Listen again to Mario. Mario, help me, please. Letter A again. Listen, listen, Andres. Okay. How much do they pay? Okay. The company pays six, nine, all was bonuses. Good with bonuses. Sí, era. <laughs> okay. Toma agüita, toma agüita. Okay, it's six hundred. No. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, it's six hundred ninety dollar, right? No colones. Dollars, right? Okay, Andres, please. Six hundred. Six hundred ninety dollar. Ninety. Oh, dollar. Mm -hmm. No, because it's 90, because it's no 609. It's 690. So 690. Or 90, if you want to say, right? Okay. $690. Uh, dollars, because we pay. Six ninety dollars. Yes. 600? Okay. 600? 600? 90 dollars. Ninety dollars. Okay. Six hundred ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Okay. Very good. Now, any any extra question? Now, we'll I will take the tennis again for the second time. Ready? Here we go. 
in the case of Joshua and Giovanni and Eduardo, you can say present in the chat, right? So, Cindy? Cindy? Okay. Uh, Cristina? Christine? Present. Okay, thank you, Christine. Joshua? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Esaú? Here. Thank you very much. Jill? Here, teacher. Giovanni? Beatriz? Giovanni. Ah, okay. Giovanni, ok, very good, no problem. Aquí lo voy a leer, no se preocupe. Igual ya, ya hablaron conmigo, ¿verdad? Y Cindy uh, la está sacando de internet. Cindy me copia, Cindy. Bueno, le está fallando. Yes, internet? hoy sí. Ok, good, good. Sí, sí me está sacando a cada rato. Usted agárrese bien de la silla para que no la saque, oiga. Ok, ya sí. le tengo presente. <ríe> ok, thank you, Cindy. Now, eh, Jennifer Guadalupe, Jennifer. Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, present, right? Now, Jorge, Mr. Laine Díaz. Ok, eh, Enrique. Eduardo. ¿Estado oyente también, Eduardo? Present, present. Ok, present. good. Thank you, thank you. Ah, no, ya, ya, ya pasó la lluvia, me dijo, ¿verdad? Ya no está de oyente. Y lo vamos a poner de activo. Ya le vamos a hacer unas 20 preguntas. <ríe> thank you, Eduardo. Más está empezando a llover. Ah, ¿really? Maybe en mexicano. Y mexicanos, Carlos, sí. en este momento es like en San Miguel. Ah, Okay. Very Ooh, hot. Wow. So maybe the rain is the rain is coming, right? Good. Let's continue. Eh, Manuel. Thank you, Mario. Mario. Andres. Good evening, teacher. Andres. I mean, uh -huh, Andres, right? Hey, Mario. Present. Okay, good. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. No le copiaba, no le copiaba. Hoy sí. Eh, Mario Andrés, and then Oscar. Oscar Daniel. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, and Carlos Enrique, right? Carlos Enrique. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, right? Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's continue. We need energy, right? We need energy. Okay. Good. And this is an article about, uh, that is similar to the one in the book, right? Este es un artículo que es similar al que está en el libro. Pero lo vamos a hacer rápido porque eh, necesito practicar unos, perdón, unos ejercicios. Con, con un, un recurso que les voy a presentar, ¿ok? Now, listen. How to write a welcome letter to new employees in five simple steps, right? Five simple steps. You imagine, for example, there is a new employee, a new empleado in, in a bank, for example, right? And the boss, the manager, has to write a letter. ¿Cómo va a escribir esa carta el, el jefe? Listen. Start with the subject line, for example. Welcome, welcome aboard, Carlos Enrique. Welcome aboard, Mario. Welcome aboard, Victor Alejandro, right? Bienvenido a bordo. Oh, we're happy to have you on board at CESA, El Salvador. We're happy to have you on board at mm, Indy Motor, for example, right? Eh, we're happy to have you on board uh, eh, Banco Atlántida uh, eh, Cipsa, Cipsa, yes, sorry Cipsa, for example, right, those are examples Number two, 
give an overview of the company, right? Say, the name of the company is this, the business structure is this, uh, the manager, the CEO, right? El ejecutivo se llama así. And we have this and this number of employees. Tenemos tres edificios. El, el jefe principal se llama así. Nuestro producto se vende en San Salvador, etcétera, etcétera, for example, right? Good. And you can describe some values, values that you have in the company. For example, we say, uh, I don't know. Vamos a tomar otra compañía acá. Eh, Galvaniza, right? So in Galvaniza, we show integrity, honesty, inclusion, and diversity. Aunque esta palabra ahora se ha tomado un poco mal, la diversidad, ¿verdad? Pero, okay. Learning. So these are some of the values. There are more, of course, right? Responsibility, hard work, etc., etc. So in a, in una carta de bienvenida a un, a un empleado, en El Salvador casi no se hace, pero en Estados Unidos esto es muy frecuente, uh, debemos incluir un saludo principal, right? Eh, darle un repaso de cómo es la compañía, right? Y demostrarle los valores que hay dentro de la comida. Number four, four, right? Talk about the first day, right? The date and hour of the employee first shift. ¿A qué hora va a entrar el empleado? ¿A qué hora va a salir, right? The location of your institution, right? Is next to Colonia del Jocote. Ok. Eh, pasaje 20. No, etc. En Cujucuyo, right? Cujucuyo. Cujucuyo es en Santana, right? Uh, se me quedan viendo algunos ahí como que si no existiera Cucucuyo, yes, es en Texas Tepeque, Santana, ¿verdad? Right? Okay, the location, the location. Then, sign off politely. Luego firma la carta de una forma amable. Sincerely, best regard, los mejores deseos, and respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> okay, this is very formal, right? This is the way you write. This is one example, look. Dear eh, Victor Alejandro Avila Hernández, welcome aboard. Based on your experience and skills, basado en las experiencias y sus habilidades, ¿verdad? He says, we are all cert certain that you will be a great fit for, for a bank. Right? Debido a todas las habilidades y la experiencia que tiene Victor, pues creemos que va Va a ir con nuestra compañía, con Avanc, right? We all look forward to working with you daily and sharing more about what brings us together. Queremos trabajar con usted, pues, y compartir. Uh, team, I like of you give a warm welcome to the new employee, I mean, the, to Victor, and make him feel at home. Best wishes, el jefe, jefecito. Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández, right? The, the boss, the manager. <laughs> okay? So this is an example, right? Este es un ejemplo. Es, es porque ahí aparece eh, en, en el libro. Aquí hay otro ejemplo. No lo vamos a leer porque ya es ya mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a compartir otro material, okay? Good. Now we are going to continue practicing with the simple present. And I will share this material. Let me see. Um, I don't find it. Ya se me perdió el material. Give me a second. One, two. Ya lo perdí el material. Ah, uh, here. I have it. Ahora sí lo hallamos. Ok, good. Now, here we have some transportation in the United States. Listen to the audio, please. Listen to the audio. Unit 6. My sister works downtown. Page 36. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 1. Drive. 2. Walk. 3. 
Take the bus. 4. Take the subway. 5. Take the train. 6. Ride a bike. 7. Take a taxi. Take a cab. 8. Ride a motorcycle. Okay, these are the forms of transportation in the United States, similar to El Salvador, right? except for the train, right? And the subway. We don't have subway, only restaurants, right? But in the United States, it's very common, the subway. In, in all the cities, in most cities in the United States, they have a subway, right? Uh, and the train. Train, right? In El Salvador, it's only a museum. The train in El Salvador is only a museum. I remember the last trip in a train, it was to a popa. San Salvador a popa, I remember, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now we have this conversation class. Talking about transportation, listen, please. Listen to the conversation. Give me a second here. Okay, here, listen, please. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay. Now, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Page 36, exercise 2, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. And repeat. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No. no, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. Okay, now, again, repeat after me, please. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job. And she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Suburbs? No, it's downtown. Downtown. My parents were downtown. But they don't drive to work. Don't. They don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Public transportation. The bus or the train? The 
the bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. Near our house. The train doesn't stop near our house. Stop. So they take the bus. They take the bus. Very good. Now I will have some students practicing this conversation. Carlos Enrique, please. You're going to be Jason. And Cindy, you're going to be Ashley, right? Ready? Okay. One, two, three, action. Nice car, Jason. It's it sure. No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's her job, her in the sober. Sobers? No. Sober. Sobers, sobers. Sober. Mm -hmm. No, it's downtown. My, my part work down, downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus, the bus. The bus. Thank you very much. Nice participation, right? And then, listen, it says, uh, stop. Remember that here we don't have an E. We have only an, an S, so we don't say eh, stop, right? But we say stop, right? S with elegance, stop. <laughs> okay, now... I have uh, two more volunteers, no, two more participants. <laughs> Christy, please, and Victor. Christy, you are Ashley, and Victor is Jason, right? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, action. Nice card, Jason. Is it Joe's? No, it's, no, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's her job here in the, in the suburbs. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use it public trans transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. The bus, the bus, take the bus. Okay. The bus. Yeah. The, bus. Mm, the chuson in El Salvador. We say the chuson. <laughs> okay. Very good, class. Any question about vocabulary? Do you understand this conversation? Okay, now, what is the purpose of the conversation, class? Well, the purpose is to check some sentences that are in simple present, right? Like here, she has. It's not she have, it's she has, right? She drives. It's not she drive, it's she drives. Okay, my parents work. Here, we don't say works, right? We say work. And in negative, we say, for example, they don't drive to work. They don't drive to work. Right? So is it affirmative or negative? What do you think? Uh, Dino, what do you think, Dino? Mm. Let me see. Yeah, it's negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Bye bye. Okay, negative, right? Why we use do not or don't drive to work, right? And here they use public transportation. They is the subject, uses the verb, right? And another expression that is negative, the train doesn't stop. The train doesn't stop, right? So, we use does plus not, so we say doesn't, right? Stop, right? The, the train doesn't stop near her. Notice that in this case, it's not necessary to say stops. And to finish this, I will ask you why. ¿Por qué no le agregamos la S al stop? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me la contesta? Lo vimos ayer. Vamos a ver. Por el, el dancing. Excellent. Because of the auxiliary. Every time you use the auxiliary, the verb is in the base form. Ya está contratado. Uh -huh. So it's not necessary to because you, you use doesn't, right? So it's a general rule. Every time you use the auxiliary, the verb is in the base form. It's negative, short answers, questions. No matter where you use the auxiliary, the verb is in the simple present form, right? Siempre usamos la base del verbo cuando aparece el auxiliar, okay? Good. Any extra question? No questions? Okay. No questions. Very good. Very good. Now, we are going to go to the next exercise. Okay, here, right? The grammar. Notice the use of affirmative and negative, right? Listen, please. Page 37, exercise four, grammar focus. Simple present statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Okie dokie. Do not, don't. Does not, doesn't, right? And notice is subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, and complement. But when you use he, we are an extra. So we say works, takes, etc. right? Then the thing happened here with I don't, you don't, but he doesn't, she doesn't, my brother doesn't, my sister doesn't. My father doesn't. My friend doesn't. Missy Foos doesn't, right? But then we don't live. They don't need a car, for example, right? Okay, understand? Here we have some exercises. No lo vamos a hacer todo, pero vamos a hacer unos cuantos aquí. Let me see. Bear endings with he, she, and it, right? Walk, walks. Right, right, study, studies, watch, watch, right? Okay, class, listen. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work or worse. What do you think? Work. 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 Because it's plural, right? Work. Uh-huh. So my wife and I work near here. So we walk or we walks? Sorry. Walk. 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 We walk. Uh-huh. We walk. To work. Or daughter Emily work or works? Works. Works. 
downtown. That means sí. el work. centro. Downtown work. is work. el centro, right? She, okay, our daughter Emily works downtown. Right now, she drive or she drives to work? Drive it. Drive. drive. Or son? Doesn't. Doesn't, right? He ride or he rides? Right. 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 Okay, no. thank you. Right. Yeah. Rides. Right. Ah, okay. Rides. Just give me a second here. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, uh, I need someone to help uh, to help me with the reading, right? Uh, Oscar, can you read the, the first, the exercise number one? My family and I... Uh -huh. Oscar? Okay. Let me see. Uh, so, Andres, help me, Andres. Read. Hello, teacher. Read for the class. My, my, my family and I... My, my parents take... No, my, number one. Number one. My family and, and I... One. My family and I work. No, live. Uh, live, work. live, work. No, 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 live in the, suburbs. in the suburbs. My wife and I live in the suburbs. No, my wife, sorry, I don't know if, uh, Andres, we're reading this, look. My family and I live my, in the suburbs. Uh -huh. My wife and I work, work near near here. So we so we uh huh uh huh world continue continue so we, uh huh work uh. To work or daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives to work or son. It doesn't drive he rides his bike to school. To school, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now we need energy. Let's go to number two, right? <clears throat> my parents leave or my parents leaves, class? Leave. No, leave. Why leave? Because my parents is right? My parents leave. Excellent. My, parents leave. my mother take or my mother takes a train? Takes. Takes. Take. My father is retired, so he don't or doesn't? That doesn't. That's That's so he doesn't. Excellent. He doesn't work now. He also use or uses? Uses. Uses. Uses, right? Public transportation. So they? Don't. They don't. don't. They don't, right? Okay, now? Uh, I need you help me, Mario. Can you read the second part, number two, please, for the class, Mario? Um, my parents um, live. Uh -huh. Live. My parents live. In the city, <clears throat> my mother um, ta takes uh -huh. a train to work. My father is re um, re retired. Retired. Pensionado. Oh. Uh, 
so he doesn't work now. Work now. He also uses public transportation, so the uh, do, they don't need a car. Okay, excellent, right? Thank you very much, right? Good. Is it clearer now? Está un poquito más claro ahora cómo usar el presente simple? Or do you have questions? Vamos a ver. Hemos, le hemos estado dando estos tres días a uh, esto del presente simple, ¿verdad? Uh, algunos todavía nos cuesta la interacción del do, el das, cuando sí. ponerle una S, cómo identificar a la primera persona, a la segunda y a la tercera, especialmente a la tercera persona singular, he, she, and it. Eh, nos cuesta un poquito, pero creo yo que con esto más o menos aterrizamos ahí, pero do you have any question? ¿Aún hay alguna pregunta? No questions. Ok. There we go. Now, let's erase this part. And continue, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I see. Good. Now we have some special verbs we can say, right? A special verbs. We have the verb have, do, and go. With the third person singular, we use these in different form. Look, listen. What is the difference? Page 38, exercise 4, grammar focus. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, have, has, do, this, go, goes, right? You see the difference? And in this case, no, you say, no, solo se le agrega la S. No, 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 no. These are two, uh, three examples that are really different, right? You don't say, eh, my father has. <laughs> no, no. My father has. My mother does. And the bus goes, right? This is the correct form to use. Understand? Okay, class. Now we're going to make an exercise. Here we have three, three paragraphs, right? Now, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Okay, my parents have a house or my parents has a house? So it's have, yeah. right? Have. Uh -huh. My mom and dad go. Go. Very good. Go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, so I do or I does a lot do. of work. Do, right? Do. Do, 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 do. Give me a second, give me a second. Perdón, que ya me perdí aquí con el, con el circulito. Okay, dad, my mom and dad, go. Dad, go. And I do, right? I do. I do a lot of work. Very good. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have Alejandro. Alejandro, hello. Okay, so Eduardo, please. Ah, no. Yes, Eduardo, right? Read the okay. part number one. Number one, read for the class, please. My parents... My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad 
goes that go that town go. to work go uh, my parents my parents are very busy and so i do a lot of work at home okay very good thank you thank you very much right now let's continue my brother doesn't live with us with us sorry he have or he has has he he has he has okay he has an apartment in the city. He go or he goes? Go. 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 Oh. Go, right? He goes. Goes. This is a verb. Don't say gobierno es a verb. No. It's a verb, right? It's an action. Uh-huh. To school all day. And he do or he does? Does. does. He does. He does. Okay. Very good. Right? So... Let me see who's going to help me reading. Eh, Enrique, um, are you there, Enrique? Jorge? Jorge Alberto? So, Jennifer, please. Jennifer, read number two, please, for the class, Jennifer. I have no, my, no friend. My, no, my, my brother? Okay. Number two, my number two. My brother does like five. Doesn't doesn't live doesn't live. Uh, my brother doesn't live. My brother sleep. Why? Live. Which is a. Is a uh, live with us. Apartment. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. He has Jennifer. He has. Mm -hmm. He has. Uh -huh. He has a partner in Red City. He go goes to school. I tell all hell does his does. home homework at night. Very good, right? Thank you very much. And let's go to number three. I have or I has. Have. Have, right? Just give me a second. I have a message. Ah, okay. Uh, Giovanni. Thank you, Giovanni. So, Giovanni is going to help me with number three. So, I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go or we goes? Go. 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 There she goes. Okay. To the same school. And sometimes we do no. or we does. Oh, do. Do. No. Do. Mm -mm. We do. Okay. We do our homework together. Good. Thank you. Now, please, can you help me? Uh, I say, oh, oh, sorry, I, I forgot that. Oh, yes. Uh, Giovanni, please, can you help me reading number three for the class, Giovanni? Okay. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. Jason. We we go to some school, and sometimes do our homework together. Yo creo que sean copia junto, pero es <laughs> do homework together, ¿eh? Ustedes no van a hacer así, no van a compartir los lo, las respuestas de la plataforma, ¿eh? Ahí, ahí lo voy a estar viendo en el. <laughs> internet right? okay good thank you very much any question okay what do you think of this activity eh? is the carnita the carnita of the grammar right teacher uh -huh, yes henry Giovanni, Giovanni. Eh, siempre, siempre va a compartir la, la... yes of course y, este... y vendrá así como, como ha puesto ahí marcado más que todo ah no. Siempre... no no no, no. No, sorry. Ah, para tomarle, para tomar captura, entonces. Si quiere, dele captura mi... aquí. Dele captura. Dele segundo, yes. En mi caso siento que me ayuda muchísimo eso. No, claro que sí, sí, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Estos ejercicios son fáciles, pero pues sí, no estamos acostumbrados, así que eh, hay que acordarnos cuando lleva la S, cuando no lleva, cuando lleva do, cuando lleva das, etcétera, etcétera. Dele un screenshot ahí, por favor. I'm a, me, voy a, 
Ah, yo poniéndome iba para salir bien en el screenshot. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. Good. Any, any other question? Questions? A los que no han entendido, por favor, díganme, tell me, right? Les digo, a mí me fascinan las preguntas. I like it, I like it. ¿Sí? Porque me gusta tener la sensación como profesor de que mis alumnos han entendido, ¿no? Entonces, por eso me fascina que me dan preguntas, porque así explico, doy más ejemplos, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Right? ¿No? Ok. Nos vamos entonces a la siguiente parte. Ok, very good. Permítame, hoy oh, sí. Good, now how to make questions. Y aquí vamos a ir terminando ya, cómo hacer preguntas. How to make questions. Let me see what time is it. Uh, ten minutes, ya nos quedan diez minutos. Eh, voy a pasar la asistencia rápido para que nos concentremos en este ejercicio. Y quería saber si eh, Joshua o Esaú, no sé quién de los dos se va a quedar conmigo, porque Joshua me dijo que estaba de oyente, nada más, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si puede quedarse, Joshua. Ah, ok, entonces, Esaú. Ok, teacher. Yes, ok, thank you very much. Regálame un segundito. Yes, aquí está la agenda. Joshua, right? Ah, no, no, sorry, Saúl. Ok, one to one. Y ahora vamos a pasar lista, pero no se me van a retirar, por favor, después de pasar lista, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Eh, Cindy? Hello, Cindy? Present. Ok, very good. Sí. Las la princesas ya fueron a dormir. Esa <ríe> una. Ah, bueno, es la aguantadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Mire, que hoy a mí me tocó este, hacer partidos de fútbol en, en mi lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí me siento un poquito cansadito ahora, ¿verdad? Pero ahí estamos. Ahí está el oso, ¿eh? También. <ríe> el oso nocturno. <ríe> Permítame, vamos, vamos. Vamos a mandarle un saludo al oso aquí. Véreme, ahorita va. Eh, Hello. Hello, oso. Hello. Hello, oso. My name is Dino. What's your name? What's your name? ¿Cómo le vas a poner? Oso pulgoso? No. No, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Winnie Pooh. Winnie Pooh, right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. Goodbye. Okay, thank you, thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gracias a la princesa ahí por mantener despierta a la mami. <ríe> que ahora es viernes, así que se merecen un descanso después, ¿eh? Ok. So, uh, let's go to the list, right? Cindy and uh, Cristina, please. Cristi. Present. Thank you. Joshua. Eh, Esaú. Here. Thank you. Uh, Jill. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. No, Beatriz. Present, oh. teacher. Okay. Aquí. Jennifer and, and Beatriz. Okay, good. Ambas, ambas están. Okay. Uh, Jorge. Creo que Jorge me lo sacó la, el Zoom. Enrique. También Enrique. Eduardo. Eduardo Flores. Present, present, teacher, present, you, present, 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 present. Alejandro. Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. Mario. Present. Thank you, Mario. Andrés. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar, Daniel, Oscar. Thank you. Eh, Victor. Thank you. And finally, Carlos Enrique, right? Okay, listen to the audio, please. Let's listen to the audio. Ta-da! 
Page 39, oh, exercise 7. Thank me, teacher. Sorry, eh, eh, Giovanni. Ajá, es que como me dijo que... Yes. No, no, le tomé la asistencia, Giovanni, ¿sí? Ok, Pero thank va, you. Pero va a participar. Bueno, ya casi termina la clase. A, a Jill no le tomé la, la asistencia. Jill... Sí, pero yeah. Ok, good, thank you. Sí, yo me recuerdo haber dicho Giovanni, <ríe> que me dijo que va a estar de oyente al principio, ¿verdad, Giovanni? Ok, good, let's, let's listen to the audio. Grammar focus. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so this is the structure, right? Auxilia de tu gordas. Subject, you, he, they, we, Maria, Pedro, Juan, Irulais. And then the verb, get up, eat, right, take, etc., etc., right? Okay, we have this for the next class. Vamos a dejar esta parte para la siguiente clase, okay? Now we're going to go to the platform. Vamos a dar una repasadita a la plataforma. Y ahí terminamos la clase, okay? Let me see. Here's the platform, right? Okay. Uh, solo quiero enseñarles algunos de los recursos de la plataforma. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí está ya el video de ayer, de perdón, del miércoles. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ok, ahí pueden practicarlo en casita. Luego tenemos la tarea 1. Eh, taking a shower, take a shower o takes a shower. I. What is the correct answer, right? Este creo que está fácil. ¿verdad? No, sh, no, sh, don't say it, right? It's a secret. Ah, <laughs> It's a secret. <laughs> ah, ya descubrimos quién da la copia en el grupo, ¿verdad? <laughs> son bromas, son bromas. Okay, I take a shower every minute. I don't think so. Every day? Every two times a year. <laughs> Uf, two times a year you take a shower, right? My goodness. My partners have a party. Ooh. Every month. No, no. Every monthly. Each month or monthly. What is the correct answer? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. Right? Okay. Y la de ahora, la tarea de ahora. Aquí es complementar. Listen. How many and how much? How many is for no countable? And how, I'm sorry, how much is for no countable? And how many is for countable, right? Pencils. How many pencils? Water. How much water? How many pencils, right? So here, parks. Parks are countable or no countable? Hmm? You know, right? Ahí vamos a contestar how, how much is how many, right? Okay, class. That, 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 that's all, folks. Eso es todo, amiguitos. Okay? I only stay with uh, Esaú. Solo me quedo con Esaú. The rest of you can say... See you Bye. and have Bye. a nice weekend. Nice Bye. weekend. Enjoy your Saturday and Sunday, right? Bye-bye. Okay. Hey, good night. Bye. Good night, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Hi, Saul. How Hi, are you? Teacher. How are you today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. I feel a little tired today. I me feel a poco cansadito, pero ahí estamos con energía siempre, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, yes. Saul. And what time do you finish working? Saul, what time do you finish in your in your job? Five o'clock? Mm, sí. Ah, okay. Good. Nice. Then you come home.
to do, 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 and then ready for the class, right? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yes. Okay. Esaú, I don't know if you have any question about the class. Any topic that... Sí, al principio, en, uh, cuando me tocó la participación, me quedé un poco pensativo porque no, no, no había comprendido el, el, el how many, how much. Pero sí, ya, okay. pues, ya me quedó claro. Un sí, ya, ¿verdad? Las cosas que se cuentan, how many. Sí. Las cosas que no se cuentan, how much. Así de sencillo, ¿verdad? Give me two examples with how much. Esa un. El último que ponía del okay. park. Del ejercicio. No. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So give me two examples. Two examples uh -huh. with how much and two examples with how many. Come on. Um, how many... One kitchen. How many kitchens? Kitchens. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How many kitchens, right? How many kitchens do you have in, in your house? Only one, I imagine, right? Yes. Only one. <laughs> no, tiene más cocina. No, no, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Good. Another example. Another example. Um, um, how many TV? Uh -huh. How many TVs do you have? How many TVs? In your house, so how many TVs do you have? Two. <laughs> Two, ah, me too. So it's one in the bedroom <laughs> and one in the living room. Uno en la sala y otro en la... Living room. In the... No, no. Ajá, living room, in the living room. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que normalmente es el más grande que uno pone en la, en la sala. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now, two examples with how much? Uh, how Remember uh, coffee, sugar? Uh, how much? How much how sugar? How much, perdón. How, how much, much sugar, sugar? In, in the coffee? Yeah, how much in this? Okay. Um, in my case, seven uh, spoons, right? In my case, le echo siete cucharadas. Wow. Entonces, sí, <laughs> este... Pero hoy estoy considerando que me está afectando mucho, así que le voy a subir a nueve, porque... Muy amargo lo estoy diciendo. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> no, only one. Solo una le he hecho. <laughs> Solo una. <laughs> <laughs> And what about you? So how, many, how many spoons? Do you put in the yeah, those two? two? Two. Okay. That's normal. Mm -hmm. oh, two is normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So we have example like milk, coffee, eh, petrol, I don't know. <laughs> water. <laughs> Etc., etc., right? Those are examples with how much, right? Good. Uh -huh. Now, right. what about the simple present? Y hablando del presente simple, ¿qué, eh, ¿qué partes no ha entendido o le gustaría repasar? Eh, a ver, me había quedado un poquito. Eh, a ver. Pero yo creo que ya lo entendí, más que todo mm -hmm. en. en y yo y sí. y we, en, en cuál es la diferencia uh -huh. ah correcto en afirmativo ya sabe cuál es la diferencia ¿va? que le vamos a agregar una s al verbo en correcto. unos casos y en otros casos pues no verdad ¿ok? correcto entonces uh -huh. estamos Pero, bien y con no, el uso del, me... con el uso del do y el das igual igual sí sí okay. ya estamos estamos claritos ya estamos claros ahí. Ok, excelente. Muy bien. Entonces, Realmente darle... estamos aprendiendo bastante con así, con que usted hable eh, solo en inglés. Ah, soy cero, no, pero eh, estoy hablando español. Poquito... No, no, en la clase. <risa> no, por eso, pero en la clase también Ajá. estoy hablando español. Pero, que... pero siento que habla, por ejemplo, no sé si es, me equivoco en hacer la comparación, pero en el Ajá. primer módulo, obviamente, estamos en el primer módulo, ¿verdad? Hablaba un poquito más de español que inglés. Yes. Entonces, cuando empezamos este módulo, me quedé un poco así. Dije, wow, solo en inglés, o sea. <risa> yes. A ver qué pasa, un poquito de miedo, pero. Sí, pero le voy a decir okay. algo, esta bomba. Le voy a decir algo para que no me vaya a frustrar. Porque a veces sí hablo un poco rápido, a veces. Este, cuando usted está viendo una película, cuando usted ve una, 
eh, oye una canción, cuando está en una clase o escucha a alguien hablando inglés, eh, como usted está aprendiendo, no espere entender el 100%. ¿sí? No se preocupe si usted no entiende todo. Pero si usted entiende un 5%, un 3%, ya la hicimos. Quiere decir que vamos en camino a entender todo. Porque no cree que a mí... Okay. Yo al, al la medio, señal, digamos. Estaba, ¿no? Sí, la señal positiva. Y enten, entendí que dijo eh, water. <risa> entendí que dijo jocote. <risa> ¿Ok? Uh -huh. eh, con eso ya tenemos una ganancia. Luego va a ir aumentando. Por eso le quería dar los consejos de esta noche. Por favorcito, okay. trate de ver una película, al menos una película de muñequitos en la semana. Eh, tiene Netflix, Disney, HBO. ¿Alguna aplicación Netflix. tiene? Netflix. Netflix. Oh, pues ya la hicimos con Netflix. Y en el teléfono también tengo una, una aplicación hackeada, va, pero. Ah, bueno, no pero, pero también Netflix lo puede poner en el celular, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 claro. Sí, sí. Ok, ahí ya la hizo. Entonces, <risa> póngame todas las películas de muñequitos ahí con subtítulos en inglés. ¿Sí? Ok. Vale. Óigame bien, usted va a ver las películas, va a terminar este curso, va a venir otro profesor y usted le va a seguir dando las películas. Toda una película, una semana, una semana. No necesariamente de un solo, ¿verdad? puede ver la mitad aquí, la mitad allá, o tres partes, ¿sí? porque yo sé que por el trabajo no queda tiempo. Además de eso, una canción. Una canción, ayer les envié una canción, ¿verdad? El grupo. ¿Cuál canción era? ¿Se recuerda? Solo vi que sí le dieron like, pero no, 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 no la logré visualizar. Ajá. What were the, no me acuerdo en la letra, pero dice What are we doing if the beds are burning? Es un grupo australiano que se llama Midnight Oil. ¿Qué hacemos si bajo nuestra cama eh, está ardiendo? ¿va? Porque el hombre se está acabando la naturaleza y nos estamos acabando el mundo. Es una canción con mensaje, ¿verdad? así que le recomiendo que no solo esa canción, sino que varias canciones. Usted puede ir a YouTube y ahí puede ver las canciones con letra. ¿Sí? Entonces, Ajá. aprende Tengo la costumbre de, de, de buscar la canción y, y, y las, como dice usted, la traducción que tiene. Ah, ok. Muy bien. La traducción está bien, pero cuando esté cantando, póngale la letra en inglés. ¿Sí? Y apréndase, okay. al menos el coro. Al menos el coro, ¿verdad? Okay. Este, hay una canción que se llama, bueno, es que a mí en su mundo, las canciones viejitas me gustan, pero se llama Grease, brillantina. Hay una película con John Travolta que se llama Grease. Y fíjese que yo tenía mucho tiempo de no escuchar la canción. Y ahora que ya entiendo bien inglés, la escuché hace poco y me gustó por lo que decía. La Así mayoría que... en inglés tiene buenas, buenas letras, va a usar un buen mensaje. ¿verdad? Así como Bad Bunny, ¿verdad? No, no, <risa> nada que ver. <risa> ok, estamos bromeando. Entonces, son dos cosas que usted puede hacer para mejorar su inglés. Eso, oiga. Y okay. por último, este, yo le puedo dar unos sitios de internet, ¿verdad? Que pueden este, buscar y, y practicar. Aparte de los, bueno, tiene dos opciones en esta clase con nosotros, ¿verdad? Con inglés corporativo. Número uno, que yo le voy a estar, le voy a estar pasando el, el, los PowerPoint, ¿sí? Este que vimos ahora, por ejemplo, ahí lo va a ir usted viendo en detalle. Y también este, en la plataforma puede ver las, los videos. Esta clase, por ejemplo, ahí se puede ver usted en la clase de mañana, ¿verdad? Ya en la tarde ya va a aparecer el video y usted puede practicar, ¿no? ¿Oye? Esas son de las sí, opciones. Sí, correcto. Muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar, eh, Esaú? No, todo bien, teacher. Todo Ay, bien. Gracias. ¿Qué do you think of the class? ¿Qué le ha parecido la clase? ¿Le... ¿Está aprendiendo? Excelente. Sí, bastante. De hecho, okay. me sorprendo yo mismo. Bueno, okay, que excelente. Le, se dice que le logro con más o menos entender un, un 40%. Un porcentaje. Oh, 40 y es ah. bastante. Okay. <ríe> y cualquier cosa, aquí está el ayudante, ¿verdad? I can help you. Ok, lo uso por los niños que aparecen a veces en lo, en, con los compañeros. Hay algunos compañeros que tienen niños, así que ahí para que no se me estén durmiendo. 
porque ahora sí yo me he estado con sueñito ahí, pero Sí, ese no sí, verdad, y de, de luchar, porque recuérdense Correcto. que a esta hora, El de a esta todo hora, requiere un sacrificio. a esta hora ya queremos irnos a la camita, ¿va? pero hay que sacrificarnos, oiga. Correcto. Okay, Saúl. Yes. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for thank your you, your participation you. in the class because you are very participative. I like that. You are very participative, sí. and this is good. The more you participate, the more you learn English. Okay. 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 Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Good night.